Hi everyone, this will be just a quick favorites video. I guess we could call it September's favorite. So here I go. Um, I was on a quest all summer for a self tanner and I tried absolutely everything. I tried Clarins, um, Jergens, Saint Tropez, Zen Tan, um, uh, probably four, four or five other ones. And then I watched a review from one of my favorite um, video uh, women, and that is Elaine. And she had, that's Elaine triple zero seven. And she did a review on a line called Sun Labs. And she said it was the best one she's used. So I gave it a shot and I bought the smallest, pack, smallest packaged ones I could to make sure I liked it and it was fabulous and I will never that I know of use anything else but in fact um, I'll show you the bottle in fact it is so good that um, my daughter who's 24 is you know like a lot of other girls loves to go tanning thinks she looks horrible without a tan she doesn't get the really dark tan like the um, Snooky from Jersey Shore tan but she always has um, I would say medium light to medium tan so I've tried to stop her from going to the tanning salons but there's only so much you can do so money was getting tight with her and she said what self tanner do you use and I told her about this one and I said why don't you give it a try and if you like it I will purchase it for you and uh, then you won't go to the salons anymore so she took it home that night talked to her two days later she really liked it she's happy with it so if that's not a true testament of how good this stuff is um, from a 24 year old then um, I don't know what is because they're fanatics about that stuff so anyway so it's Sun Labs and um, I get the dark because the medium is the first one I got is really light. It's much lighter than you'd expect. So I get the dark. And as you can see at the top of the tube, it's like a green color. And when it comes out, it's a greenish brown color. And it almost looks like strained peas that used to feed your babies. Um, only a little darker than that. So you can see it when it goes on and uh, you can see if it's streaky anywhere and rub it in and that kind of thing so this is awesome i also have the um the tan extender lotion and um that smells really good it kind of smells like cherries and i also have um oh this is the bottle i got that was medium um i didn't bring it down i also have the body scrub they'll sell it as a set and the body scrub is excellent as well so highly recommend that and um, so we'll move on from there now I don't know I guess with my age um, you get to the point where you start having um, a little bit of peach fuzz and when you put powder on it kind of clings to it so it's been bothering me so I did a little research and I decided to uh, I didn't want to have it waxed I didn't want to bleach it um, you know so I got the Sally Hansen cream hair remover kit I can't believe I'm sharing this but hopefully you'll appreciate it because it can be a little embarrassing and uh, so I got the kit and I it takes 15 minutes put it I just put it around here where the peach fuzz was and um, then wiped it off with a face cloth and then they have lotion to put on after and my skin felt wonderful and it was smooth all the peach fuzz was removed I had no reaction to it and I have sensitive skin and couldn't be happier so I do this maybe every six weeks or so and I highly recommend it you know rather than trying to cover it up and make sure you know it doesn't show with powder I highly recommend this and on the bottom it shows you that what's inside you get the lotion that removes it and the cream after and I have to say whatever's in that cream after it um, 
extremely moisturizing and um, smoothing. Loved it. And um, speaking of smooth and loving lotion, I got the sample from Taka, and it's uh, Cleopatra body cream. And this is a little sample that came in. And it is grapefruit cucumber smell. And I just have to tell you, this is such, it's just body lotion. The smell is so fabulous. Um, at the first time I used it, I got on to, I believe, Amazon. And I ordered a regular size bottle and a candle. So again, this is from Taka, I believe you pronounce it, T-O-C-C-A. Cleopatra Lotion Grapefruit Cucumber. And it is very rich. And the fragrance, like I said, I love it. So I guess, you know, I love the really clean smelling, fresh. Um, and that's what this smells like. And I love the smell of cucumbers for some reason. <laughs> All right, so to actual makeup now, too. I've been using the YSL. Um, pore refining skin care brush cream as a primer for about two, I don't know a week and a half now and I do really like it I'm not thrilled about the application it comes with its own brush you squeeze the tube and it comes up and then you put it on with the brush um, but I like just having it come up and I just kind of put it on with my hands usually my hands so I know this is an expensive product and um, I wanted people to know that I feel it's worth it. I felt like it did make my skin feel great, my pores uh, smaller, and my makeup went on great. And um, it smells wonderful too. So I do recommend that. And um, also just got this, if you see my previous video of my face of the day, it's the Truth and Light MAC face powder. And it is a cooling they describe it a magically cooling liquid powder so when you put it on it feels like you're it's wet but it dries instantly and your skin feels like satin silk however you want to say it but I am loving this um, highly recommend that I think this is probably gonna go pretty quick with the lines I know when I got my line it pre-ordered she said just about everything has gone from pre-ordering so and then I am loving, I wish I got the bigger ones, Skindinavia No More Shine and Skindinavia 10 Years Younger. And these you spray on after you do your makeup. Uh, I use them both off and on, you know, switch back and forth. I don't see a big difference on the 10 Years Younger and the No More Shine, but I haven't really closely examined it or anything. But um, so uh, this is like. Any finishing spray, the model in a bottle, the um, Urban Decay has one, um, MAC finish one, um, but uh, this has been my favorite so far. I like this one better than any of the others. Obviously, the 10 years younger, if you're 25 years old, you've got to pass on this one and probably get the other one. They had a couple other kinds too, but you just spray, and it kind of smells like baby powder. And it sets your makeup all day. It does. It looks really well. So I'm loving those. I'm going to order um, the bigger size of those. Also, I just am loving these tweezers from e.l.f., believe it or not. That's those. They have a wide tip. And I'm telling you, this has cut my tweezing down in half. And I usually get them waxed, but... Um, you know, when you don't have time or if you're noticing, you know, you, you want to add, you know, a different line to your brows or whatever. This works so efficiently and so quickly and it's so cheap. I mean, I have the Tweezer Man ones and the, you know, the fancy ones. But these e.l.f. ones I got at Target. And, and they're heavy. Nice, heavy steel. Recommend those. Then um, from Becca... I got this line. It was through this website that I always sends me specials. And um, I just love this line. Right now, I don't have it on. I have my um, Venomous Villains lipstick still from the video I just did. But let me show you what it has. It. Becca came. It's, a, it's called the Nude Lip. 
It comes with a double-sided lip liner. One is like a natural color, you know, like a nude color. And the other side is just skin color, which you can barely see above that. What I do is I line my lips with the nude color, put the lipstick on, and then outside of the lipstick, I put this on, and it kind of sets it even more. And if you put it in the cupid's bow, it gives a little bit of fullness up top, too. I really can't see what I'm doing. But that's how I use the liner. Then the lipstick is um, BR702. Oh, um, you know what? This is the Shiseido lipstick. It's not the lipstick I meant to bring. I'm sorry. But this is another great one. This is Shiseido. And this is natural. And that's um, natural color as well. And I can't believe I don't have that Becca one. Anyway, the, um, the uh, lip gloss that goes with the Becca is very similar to the liner. As you can see, that's the gloss. But the lipstick is just about identical to the Shiseido, which is probably why I grabbed it, and um, to the lip liner. So I'll try to show that the next time. Um, yeah, this is... Um, cap cappuccino or something like that, but it's um, not very dark at all when you put it on. So that's the Becca line that I'm really liking. And uh, let's see. Oh, and then finally, uh, a couple more lipsticks. Uh, NYX, it's a jumbo lip pencil. And this one is 703 Pink Nude. And it looks like that. And let's see, we'll put it on this line. It has a real frostiness to it. Um, it's really pretty if you want to. Um, I use it when I go out at night, actually. Kind of gives you that frosty 60s look, and um, really liking that. And finally, my two MAC Long Lastings from the Pro Wear line, the um, Long Wear line they just put out. I got two, and I've been wearing these for a couple weeks now, and I love them. One is. Um, a darker brown color. Um, again, the print is so small, um, but that's that. And uh, they do last quite a long time. They do dry out, so you may want to put some gloss over them or retouch it. But they go on very creamy. And then I got the pink one, which I wear a lot in the daytime. And it's, it's a very light pink. So again, I am liking these. They are long-lasting. They are a bit drying, but, um, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. So that's it, and um, hope you enjoyed this and give you some ideas, and I will be talking to you soon. Thanks so much, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.